Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about neat things you can do with Arduino. And so, here is my Arduino Uno. I like Arduino Unos because they are cheap, they're $15, so if I burn it up, which is a good possibility, these are racing uh, coils here, 60,000 volts apiece, and uh, what I need is I need a signal generator to generate a waveform so I can pulse modulate uh, these FETs. Here's some FETs. They're not super high power FETs, but I found that uh, you know, kind of overkill on the heat sink. But if I put much bigger FETs on there, I'll actually burn out the primaries of the, uh, of the racing coils. Okay, so what I've done here, I'll, I'll turn it on in a second, is I have a frequency of the uh, the, the carrier frequency basically of, uh, that's generated by this guy that's going to drive the coils. And so we want to tune that to match the resonant frequency of these guys, which is typically in around 10 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, something like that. And then I can change the pulse width modulation of it with this knob right here. And uh, that will change how much power comes out, basically the voltage. Pulse width modulation is a very efficient way of modulating uh, power supplies using switching power. And uh, because normally if you use like an analog transistor and it kind of varies the voltage between 0 and 1, then you get a lot of resistive losses. You get heating of the device and other things and it's undesirable. And plus uh, resistive losses mean uh, irreversible losses of energy. So these other two are, I can pulse modulate the whole signal, turn it on and off, and I can change the duty cycle of it. And I believe it's this one and that one. I didn't label them. So here's our power supply. And we will turn it on. Actually, one of the issues is, is that the Arduino needs to actually be shielded a little bit more. Here's some big-ass capacitors, too, to supply the power during peak power. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but what I've done is I have actually have a little neon lamp hooked up to one of the coils. I have the coils hooked plus minus, and uh, it's hooked up to the coil so that um, <coughs> I can see without generating a spark. Well, you know whether the coils are in tune or not. So I can change the frequency of the coil. You can hear it change. So I can tune in to the resonance of the coil, and then I can turn up the duty cycle. There we go. I have to be careful because I'm going to uh, possibly trigger the Arduino. Definitely a nice high power, high voltage power supply. And I can also change how fast it pulses. And the duty of it, turn it off to CW if I want. Of course, it gets more power if you pulse modulate it because there's only so much power that can go through the capacitors. So if I turn down the duty cycle, I can get a higher power pulse modulation on it. Okay. And so there's my Arduino-based high-voltage power supply all mounted on a plexiglass sheet with uh, some high power resistors and transformers and stuff to provide power for the Arduino. Okay. And I guess we'll turn this guy off. And this is Dr. Janes. Thanks for watching.